All right, so you guys, we allow the adhesive to dry. Sometimes, um, depending on what brand you use, the adhesive will have a kind of like a shine to it around the hairline. You can go ahead and use a little bit of matte uh, setting powder around the hairline and that will help get rid of the shine. So I'm going in and actually detailing out the hairline. All those baby hairs I showed you guys earlier in the video, we are actually cutting to our hairline to make it look more realistic. As you can see, all the baby hairs I cut in already, and we're just going to give you guys a close up on this as well. Very natural, and I feel like this little baby here right here just needs a little bit more, and we are missing some baby hair here, so we're just gonna cut a little bit here. So now you guys that we have our baby hairs cut and we let the adhesive dry, we are going to go ahead and take our foundation or concealer of your choice. Today I'm using a matte contour palette by BH Cosmetics. I like this because it has the yellow and white shade like I told you guys earlier in the video that mimics a natural scalp. And I'm going to go ahead and dab right into our part line. Okay. And this is going to help conceal some of the lace and knots and also kind of create an illusion of a scalp shining through when the sun hits it. As you can see, that did gave it a more defined definition, like almost like scalp. Sometimes you don't want to do over too much if you want to create that natural scalp. 